Libra, you are up for the May 2022 Tarot Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right, Libra, we're going to go ahead and get to it. I'm going to pull an oracle card from both my oracle decks, and then I'll pull some tarot cards. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the tarot cards and the energy. You know your life better than I ever could. All right, let's get started. May I have the energy for Libra for May 2022? May I have the energy for Libra? For May 2022. May I have the energy for Libra. For May 2022. What is it that Libra needs to know? 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 May I have the energy for Libra for May 2022? May I have a card, please? Two cards came out. All right. Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. So this is Crown Chakra. And then Woman Holding a Coin. And these are numbers. Wow, that's kind of crazy. 41 and 42. They're back to back. And mind you, the way that I shuffle my cards, I do it in a weird way. I break them up in multiple piles and then bring them back together to make sure that they're really shuffled really good. So for 41 and 42 to follow right behind each other or 42 to follow right after 41, it was meant for these two cards to come out. So some of you, your crown chakra may be opening up. Also, woman holding a coin. There may be some money coming in in May or you already may be in an advantageous financial situation. If you're not, then don't be surprised if there is some money coming in. I don't know. what, And this is so weird. I just got this energy. There might be some jealousy around you, like some people wishing bad on you, but you're protected is what I'm getting. You're protected. And Cancer got that too. Cancer, um, but it said in a different Oracle deck. But yeah, that's the energy I'm picking up, especially with this black cat, cat here and then all of this purple. When I see all of this purple, I think of royalty. As well. And then also I think of ceremonial stuff, religious ceremonial stuff for some reason. That comes to me. But definitely you're protected. And also some of you might have some eureka moments too in the month of May. Don't forget, there is a new moon in Taurus on the last day of April. Today is April 24th. So, and this will more than likely be uploaded today. And then there's a full moon in Scorpio, the middle of May. So some of you in Scorpio is related to Pluto, which is also ruled by Mars too. It's one of the few signs that's ruled by two planets. But um, it's all about removing what doesn't serve you. And I, I don't want to say rebirth. But it's all about a new lease on life, we could say. I don't know why I just heard something about a lease now as well. Someone might be moving in May too. One of you might be moving. If you don't have the funds, you more than likely will get the funds to move. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, let me take another Oracle card right quick. What is the energy for Libra? For May 2022, what is the energy for Libra 
for May 2022. What is the energy for Libra for May 2022? What is it that Libra needs to hear? 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 What is the energy for Libra for May 2022? What is it that Libra needs to hear? May I have a card, please? What is it that Libra needs to hear? Two. Okay, Libra. Yeah, there's a change. I feel like somebody's moving in May. I don't know why I just do. There's some type of change happening in May. And then at the bottom of the deck is Miracle. And this is a master number, 33. So, yeah, there's something... I feel this is going to be unexpected. So, like an unexpected miracle. Again, I'm going back to the moving thing. Don't know why that's on my mind. It just is. Take what resonates with you, what doesn't. If someone's looking to move, don't be surprised if you hear good news in May. For this first card change, the number 12, which is kind of interesting... Because miracle is 33, 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. And for change, it says the frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. Didn't I say something about a new lease on life? I love it when the readings just flow together. I love that. All right. And then the other card is heart chakra. And then heart chakra says the frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body. So definitely you're balancing out your emotions, but there's some type of change coming in May. It could be an emotional change. But I really feel like there's going to be a physical change or it could be both. Maybe once you move or whatever miracle happens in May, that will reset your frequency, which will bring in more resources. And then once more resources come in, you'll be able to relocate or do whatever you're looking to do. And that will put you in a better um, emotional frequency is what it will do. May I have the energy for Libra for May 2022? May I have the energy for Libra for May 2022? Energy for Libra for May 2022. What is it that Libra needs to know? 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 Energy for Libra for May 2022. What is it that Libra needs to know? Something's telling me to take this card on the top. Temperance. Yeah, balance is coming in. What is it that Libra needs to know? Temperance is Sagittarius energy. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Something's going to happen fast, though. This is air energy. Um, Knight of Swords. Also, Knight of Swords can be a, a type. It can be swift action, but also it can be planning. So we have temperance and we have the knight of swords coming out again. I feel like and also temperance can be healing too, some type of healing coming in, something being healed. And this may go back to the miracle part where it's unexpected. This unexpected healing happens fast. What's at the bottom of the deck? The hangman. Maybe there was something where you were feeling all tied up. Hangman is Pisces energy. Mind you, out of these three cards, we already have two major arcanas. So this is major stuff that's going on. But you maybe you felt tied up. It, like you just couldn't catch a break or get something done. And then all of a sudden, it's swift change that happens. And then that's when the miracle comes in. And let me read this miracle card because I didn't read it. And this was at the bottom of the deck of um, one of my oracle decks. It says the frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. 
So you have to believe that anything is possible. But that's what I'm picking up. I, I really feel this is an unexpected miracle that's going to change your frequency. Maybe it's going to be due to some type of eureka moment that you have due to your crown chakra opening up. But I feel if you're not in a good financial situation, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female, there's no gender in tarot or anything like that. I'm talking about the energy. This woman holding a coin. Maybe there's a woman holding a coin that will come to your aid. But honestly, Libra, I feel like this is your energy. But there's some type of swift healing that's going to come in. It will bring change and it will affect your heart chakra too. And like I, like I also said, I really believe that some of you are doing a physical move. If you're not actually physically moving in May, I feel like you may start the process. Just a caveat on that. Don't forget that Mercury goes retrograde on May the 10th. So any contracts that you sign, be sure to read them over. Make sure every T is crossed, every I is dotted when it comes to Mercury retrograde. Mercury will... Um, Go retrograde on the 10th and then it goes into, I think, the first or second week of June, if I'm not mistaken. But Libra, that is your miracle. I was about to say that is your miracle. Um, that is your reading. <laughs> so a miracle is happening. Unexpected. A miracle is happening. K-I-R-W-K-C dot com. Main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Libra, be blessed.